This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 8, Creating Functions with Parameters, Part 20. Free response. Um, so keep in mind, we're going to go through this. We're going to talk about it. You need to create your own answer. Plagiarism is serious. Do not do it. Do not copy my answer. Right? I'm going to talk through this. I'm going to write my own answer. You can think about it. You can use some of those ideas and put them into your own words. Make them better, of course. Um, and all of that. Plagiarism serious. My students, right? So if, if you're watching this, I know what I wrote. Do not plagiarize. So here we are. Free response. Keep in mind, too, when you hit submit on this, your teacher can read it. Or maybe I, if I'm your teacher, can read it. So Think about this. You're not going to be able to edit it when you hit submit. Be careful. Free response. Functions with parameters. Abstraction is often used to focus on a general case and ignore a specific instance of a problem. Given this meaning of the word, given this meaning of the word, are functions with parameters an example of abstraction? Y yes. I mean, partially, just logically, they wouldn't ask this if they weren't. Well, I guess they might, but they definitely are, right? So, do functions allow us to solve a whole bunch of problems at once? Yeah, right? So think of draw starfish. If I'm creating an animation of a, well, the sea, right? Uh, underwater life. I want a lot of starfishes. But I want one that's 60, one that's 40 length sides, one that's 10 length sides, one that's 19 length sides. Okay, well, our function draw starfish, let us do that. So these whole, there's this whole class of problems that we can solve with a singular solution, right? And then the function call allows us with that parameter for size for 60, 10, 30 to, to make it a particular, uh, to have the general solution solve each particular problem. Or think about it with fish, where we can have specific colors even of each fish and change the size. So I can have a tiny red fish with 10 sides on everything and a, or a width on everything and a huge uh, pink fish with, uh, with 47 length sides on everything, right? And so there's these very specific problems I have. I need a fish with 47 width, um, so not sides, 47 width and is pink, but I also need a fish with five width and is green but the same thing can do that and that's the power of this so i'm going to hit upon that um example of functions with all right so let's talk about what i have Functions with parameters allow us to solve an immense amount of specific problems using a generalized solution, right? So very specific, a size of a starfish, for instance. And the solution is generalized because it can apply to 100 different sized starfish. And programming functions can contain steps needed to accomplish a... It's not specific. Uh, needed to accomplish... Well, they a broad... Steps needed to accomplish. We'll leave goal. Uh, can contain the steps needed to accomplish a goal. A goal. And, and with parameters, that function can solve particular problems each time in programming functions. All right, I should definitely edit this some for grammar and double check it, but you get the idea. So functions with parameters allow us to solve an immense amount of specific problems using a generalized solution. And programming functions contain the steps needed to accomplish a goal. Using parameters that, that, allows a func, using parameters, functions, woo can solve particular problems each time they 
are called. So that's my answer. Plagiarism is important. Do not plagiarize. Think of this yourself. Improve this. Come up with your own answer. Completely disagree with me. Make a much better one. All right. And uh, I'm hitting submit.